everybody, I thought it would be a good idea to just go over some of the basics that I constantly say in all my fitness videos, how to jump, how to squat, good form, um, and just some things that well, I think help you. Um, I will continue to give reminders during my workouts, but sometimes I think if you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about, that this will help you. So just a few things. Um, I know sometimes I give modifications and I say, if you don't wanna jump, you can do this modification. I try to do that for all the intervals that I do. But for those of you who think jumping is impact and it's gonna hurt, it's not. That is, that's false. It's, it's true if you don't jump correctly. Um, plyometrics is like a fancy term for jumping. And I love plyometrics because they make you feel really great um, and they're good for short bursts of, of exercise, which is kind of what I do. I do a lot of intervals. Um, so let me just show you the basic way to squat. Now you can squat with a band, you can squat with holding weights, but if you're truly starting out, and I always say this is like a modification to not use any weight, just to get the basics with your own body weight and feel your body. So basically a squat, we do these in all my workouts, I think, and especially in the warm up. So you're going to have your feet apart. And there are different variations of squats. This is just one of the basics. You're gonna sit your, put your weight into your heels. You don't have to physically lift your toes up, but um, you can if you like. So you're gonna sit your um, hips back first. That's the first thing you wanna do in a squat is to push the hips back a little bit. Then you're going to bring it down and your knees should be over your heels. So you don't wanna lean forward. Now, depending on your flexibility in your heel, I give this as a cue a lot as well. You could technically have your heels down, but be in bad alignment. So I have my heels down and I have some flexibility in my heels that I can bring my knees. So it looks like, well, my heels are down, so I'm squatting, but that's not really the whole component of this, um, what you need to do. So you need to put the hips back, sit the hips back and push into your heels and sit your hips back at the same time. Your chest is gonna be lifted, and depending on your knees and how things are feeling, you don't have to squat deeply. Sometimes I squat deeper, especially when we're going down to do a plank. So there's your squat, and you're gonna come right back up. So this is one of my favorite exercises. Even if you don't have a lot of time during the day, you know, if you just wanna use body weight, you don't maybe have equipment yet, or you're traveling, you can do so much with your own body weight. You can do a squat, you can add a jump if you wanted to um, make it a little bit more cardiovascular, but that is the basics of a squat. You're gonna sit your hips back first, just a little bit as that chest comes up and stays up, and then you push into your heels. So you don't wanna do this, you don't wanna round the back. Another cue I give are shoulder blades in your imaginary back pockets. So. That's whether you're in a plank, it's whether you're standing, even when you're warming up. Rather than arching, you wanna just imagine your shoulders pushing down. That's gonna help you with your planks, your push-ups, because you're gonna get length in your, um, in your neck and shoulders, and you're not gonna tense up and pull a muscle. Um, it will also help you with any abdominal work you're doing on the ground. So the squat, that's a basic um, chest up, there are many different squats. We do split squats and things like that, but I just wanna go over some of those basics. Now, when building on the squat, and I like to use this one because everybody pretty much can do it, um, you're going to um, add a jump. So say if you're in your squat and you wanna add a squat jump, you can do different variations where you're coming up in the chest or you can stay low, you could do squat jacks, but basically you're gonna be creating energy from the ground up and coming up off the heel and then landing toe ball heel so if you're down in your squat and this is where you would start your jump you're gonna come up rather than this okay that is what's bad for your knees your hips your ankles so you want to use your muscles whenever you're jumping so you want to use the muscle not the joint so this is very light i'm hardly making a noise here i'm hardly um, I'm not heavy into my feet and you want to land softly and you want to land where you started. So you're going to come up like this. You don't want to do this flat feet. That's what I see a lot. 
of very bad again for your ankles, your knees, and your hips. So think just like the energy coming up from the floor. Same thing when you're in a plank, you want to be, um, and we'll show, I'll show you that next. You want to have your hands um, not pushing so hard and creating tension here, but you want to think about that energy coming up from the floor. So you're going to start maybe here on all fours. You're going to spread your fingertips and look at your hands. They always should be under your shoulders when you're doing any kind of plank or plank variation like a burpee or anything like that. So you don't want to be here. You want to be here. This will help you with push-ups and things like that as well. So you're going to walk your feet back and come up on your toes. If, you're, if it's too hard, you can take your feet a little wider, but your hips are basically down and you're in a little bit of a pelvic tilt. Your shoulder blades are in your back pockets, meaning you're not here and you're reaching through the crown of the head. This is very effective. Even if you hold it for 10 seconds and come down and take a break and do it again, you'll build up straight for all the things we do in this position. So this is just a good solid plank. If you wanna modify your plank, you're on your knees, but you're not here, okay? So your back is still in that alignment where you have that pelvic tilt and you're feeling your core. So whenever you're in these um, positions, you really wanna tap into your core. That goes for really everything. You wanna have your core engaged. That's why I say it so much. So um, if you're in this position, you could feel your core. You can also do a push-up. That's why your push-up is really a moving plank. So you're working not only your chest, but your core. So if you need a break, maybe sit back into child's pose and do it again. But you don't wanna feel as though you're pushing into your hands or your wrists anytime our hands are down. You almost wanna cup the earth or the floor and create a little bit of um, a space here. Even if you can't see it, just a little bit of a space in your palm. So that's another thing that's very good to do. Um, I could go on and on and on, but those are just a few things that I wanted to go over today. There's one more thing that I do a lot in my variations, and that's anything you do with two feet at once, you can go one leg or one foot at a time. That's gonna help you, if you're, especially if you're a beginner, because you can do all my workouts, but modify them and feel successful and feel like you really got a good workout in, whether it's day one or day 101. So um, anything we do with two feet, and I want you to keep that in mind, whether it's a jumping jack, a squat jack, a plank jack, a burpee, you can do one foot at a time and just kind of break it down in your head. So sometimes it's helpful to watch my videos and then, and then do them because then you have a plan um, for the modifications. So basically, we do a lot of jumping jacks um, in my kickboxing, in my warm-ups. So basically a jumping jack, two feet, right? And you can have your arms here, but you are really using your core to move both legs. And now the jump, you're on the ball of your foot, that heel goes down just for a split second. Now, this might be a lot for you, so do it here. Build that intensity with your arms. Okay, you can do these arms too. Anytime you use your arms over your head, it's gonna be a little harder. You can bring the arms in front. So anytime, this would be your modification for a jumping jack, okay? That's one example. Um, the same thing with a plank jack. That might be a lot, or take it one side at a time. This is still very effective. Another one I do a lot is a plank to, or a half burpee. So when you're in a plank position, this is part one of your burpee. So a full burpee would be bring it all the way down, all the way up, in, jump, okay? And not jump here, you jump from here, right? So to break that down, you're gonna be feet apart, you're gonna bend your knees into a squat to get your hands down. If you need assistance with that, you can have a bench in front of you. That's always gonna make your plank a little easier whenever you have that elevation. So that's a great tip if you're just starting out or if you're coming back from an injury. So, cause it's a lot to get to the floor. You wanna make sure you're sitting back far enough. 
Now from here, instead of jumping both feet back, my hands are under my shoulders, you can walk, walk, in, in, up. Down, use the other leg to start, in, in, up. That is no joke. That is going to raise your heart rate. Now, I, I, that's why I say the modifications are just as hard, if not sometimes harder than the higher impact and higher intensity version. So use those tips. Anytime, again, you could walk out or bring both feet jumping in and out. We do that one a lot. Same thing with a mountain climber. You can jump it or just bring one leg in at a time. So just use those tips. Those are just a few modifications and things that will help you as you go. So I'll continue to do these little um, tips and tricks for you. They are gonna help you whether you're um, experienced or not, because sometimes life has, throws us things like injuries or illness. And sometimes we forget like, oh, I used to be able to do with the jumping jack, but what's that modification? So um, hopefully those tips and trips, tricks will help you. And uh, I'm gonna get ready to post my workout for the day. I'll see you later.